Hello wise guys, this is Sherlock's reincarnation. In this video, you will learn about the Sicilian way of justice. Please like the video and subscribe our channel. The Sicilian way of justice refers to a traditional form of justice that has been practiced in Sicily for centuries. It is based on a code of honor, known as Omida, that values loyalty, respect, and revenge. In the Sicilian way of justice, individuals are expected to take matters into their own hands when they or their families have been wronged. The Sicilian way of justice can take the form of Sicilian vendetta, which is a blood feud and a long-standing tradition of revenge and retribution in Sicilian culture. It is a feud between two families or clans that arises when one member of a family is killed or wronged, and the surviving members feel a duty to avenge the wrongdoing. The vendetta is typically carried out through acts of violence, such as murder, kidnapping, or arson, and it can last for years or even decades, as each act of violence is met with further retaliation. The roots of the vendetta can be traced back to the feudal system that was prevalent in Sicily for centuries, where the power and influence of a family was often determined by its ability to protect its members and avenge wrongs. The Sicilian way of justice is often associated with organized crime and the Mafia, which have historically played a significant role in Sicilian society. The Mafia, also known as Cosa Nostra, emerged in Sicily in the mid-19th century. Its origins are complex and intertwined with the history and culture of Sicily itself. There are several factors that contributed to its rise. One key factor was the feudal system that existed in Sicily during the Middle Ages and beyond. Large landowners, known as latifundia, held significant power over the peasants who worked their land, creating a system of dependency and subservience. This system left many people vulnerable to exploitation and abuse, leading to the rise of outlaws and bandits who resisted the authority of the landowners and the state. Another factor was the economic and political instability that plagued Sicily over the centuries. The island was ruled by a succession of foreign powers, including the Greeks, Romans, Arabs, Normans, and Spanish, and these periods of foreign domination often led to economic and political upheaval. In the absence of strong centralized authority, local power structures emerged, including criminal organizations like the Mafia, which offered a form of protection and security to their members. The Mafia also developed as a response to the weakness of the legal system in Sicily. Law enforcement was often corrupt and ineffective, and many people turned to the Mafia for justice and protection. The Mafia's code of silence, known as Omida, helped to shield its members from prosecution and allowed the organization to maintain its power and influence for generations. As Sicily transitioned to a more modern form of governance in the 19th century, these factors came together to create a fertile ground for the emergence of the Mafia. The Mafia began as a loose network of criminal groups and families who banded together for mutual protection and profit. They engaged in various illegal activities, including extortion, gambling, and prostitution, and used violence to maintain their control. Over time, the Mafia became more organized and hierarchical, with a clear leadership structure and strict codes of conduct. They developed a system of omerta, or code of silence, which required members to remain loyal to the organization and keep its secrets at all costs. This system of omerta helped the Mafia to evade law enforcement and maintain its power for generations. Lupera, which is a term used in Italian to refer to a sawed-off shotgun, has been traditionally associated with Cosa Nostra and Vendetta. The Lupera is typically a double-barreled shotgun with the barrels shortened to increase its portability and concealability. It is often used in close-range confrontations, and its use has been associated with organized crime and other illegal activities. Overall, the emergence of the Mafia in Sicily was the result of a complex interplay of economic, political, social, and cultural factors. Today, the Mafia remains a significant force in Sicilian society, although its power has been weakened by decades of government crackdowns and increased law enforcement. The tradition of the vendetta has been romanticized in literature and movies. The 1972 Godfather movie tells the story of the Corleone family, a powerful Italian-American crime family that is embroiled in a long-standing vendetta with other mafia families. In modern times, the practice of the vendetta has declined significantly as the Italian government has cracked down on organized crime and violence, and as Sicilian society has become more modern and urbanized. 
However, the legacy of the vendetta still looms large in Sicilian culture and history, and it remains a potent symbol of the complex and sometimes violent social structures that have shaped the island's past. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe our channel. More videos will come.